Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about geominal matrix hemorrhage imaging. Terminology. Geminal matrix hemorrhage is the hemorrhage that occur in richly vascular but fractured geminal matrix in premature infant. Most common signs seem to Variable, hypotonia, hypotonia, seizure, hyperinfexia, falling, hematocrit, irritability, failure to stride, paralysis, acidosis, feeding difficulty. Other signs and symptoms, germinal matrix hemorrhage may occur in utero and follow the same pathway of evolution and complication. Demographic. A. Premature infant in first week of life. One third and one half of all germinal matrix hemorrhage occur on first day of life. Male equal to female. Ethnicity, no predisposition. Epidemiology, most common in infant less than 32 weeks of gestation and less than one. 15,000 pounds. High risk of germinal matrix hemorrhage in the premature infant with congenital hemorrhages, surgical procedure, severe respiratory distance. Incident of germinal matrix hemorrhage and in intraventricular hemorrhage are 50% from 1975 to 1980 and then decreased to 15% after 2005. Imaging can occur anywhere along general matrix, most common at caudal telemico. Look for intraventricular extension, ventricular colomegaly, and secondary intraparenchymal hemorrhage. Also, sound globular a congenic focus in caudal telemico. Acute blood is a cosinic blood ladder retracts and become iso to hypoechoic. May appear as abnormally sick cortexes but a slightly different hypogenicity and lacking vascularity. Fluid breast level may be visible in the pen than ventricle. Coronal and sagittal sign clip sweeping. So, when the clock have difference in average from normal Freud. I'm a sensitive for detection of germinal matrix hemorrhage and intraventricular hemorrhage. Increased T2 signal, decreased SWI and T2 star GOE. Mass imaging modality for detecting of associated parenchymal abnormality, white matter, chinchuri, and cerebellar micro hemorrhage. This is the other sound of the 20 week gestation male fetus one day after delivery, so it's symmetric global. La ecogenic focus in the right cardiothalamic group consistent with a gymnal matrix hemorrhage. The lack of intraventricular hemorrhage make this a grade one hemorrhage. And this is the ultrasound of the one. They are neonate born at 25 week gestation, so a heterogeneously ecogenic IVH that is then the left lateral ventricle consistent with a grade 3 intraventricular hemorrhage. Note that the decreased bronchial sarcation reflective of prematurity.
This is the ultrasound in the three day old neonate born at 24 weeks gestation, so a light right intraventricular hemorrhage with a fan shape area of hyper ecogenicity in the adjacent vimera consistent with hemorrhage venous infarction. And this is the ultrasound in a former 30 weeks gestation premature in infant less than 24 hours after delivery of so bilateral terminal matrix without ventricular mechali consistent with great to IVA. Sign clip and the easiest way to distinguish a terminal matrix and intraventricular hemorrhage from normal core functions. And this is the head ultrasound in the same patient. Three weeks later, so evolution of the intraventricular hemorrhage with integral and large or lateral ventricle consistent with post hemorrhagic hydrocephalus. This is the SWIMR at three months of age. So a focus of signal loss in the right called total micro consistent with a remote terminal matrix hemorrhage. There is no signal loss in the ventricle, otherwise to suggest the component of intraventricular hemorrhage. This way, prenatal prevent preterm delivery, prenatal steroid, postnatal optimal resuscitation, reduced fluctuation in cerebral blood flow, minimize handling, central synchronized ventilation from Treatment of patient diagnosis maintain normal oxygenation. Post hemorrhagic hydrocephalus of only five years of shunning. Around 20 to 25 of grade C and 4 interventional hemorrhage. Thank you.